This segment brought to you in association with Burger King. Time for sports now when we say good evening to Damien Best. Damien, surprise, surprise, rain in England. Yeah, Shane, not good news at all. All eyes will be on the weather in England this week. At the ICC World Cup after a third match in the tournament was abandoned due to rain. The Bangladesh's game against Sri Lanka was called off without a ball being bowled this morning. With persistent, persistent rain rather falling in Bristol, the match due to start at 5.30 a.m. Barbados time was called off shortly before 9 a.m. Sri Lanka's game against Pakistan at Bristol last Friday was also washed out and only 7.3 overs were possible in the match between West Indies and South Africa at Southampton. Rain is forecast at Taunton tomorrow when Australia play Pakistan and also on Thursday at Trent Bridge where India will face New Zealand. Now the good news is that the weather is expected to improve for England's meeting with the West Indies at Southampton on Friday. With both sides taking a point from today's washout, Sri Lanka move up to fifth in the table and Bangladesh climb to seventh. The top four teams qualify for the semi-final round. The West Indies head coach Floyd Reefer insists his batsmen are up for the challenge of dealing with England pacer Jofra Archer in their World Cup clash this Friday. Archer was born in Barbados to a British father and played for West Indies under-19s before declaring his allegiance to England earlier this year. The match against the West Indies in Southampton will be just his seventh one-day international appearance. To be honest, we, we knew Joffa from a from long time. He's from Barbados, where, where we're from. So we knew him from on the 15, on the 17, on the 90. So he's not new to us. Yes, um, he's, born in, he's born in quickly. I knew him from on the 17, on the 19 days. You know, he played, actually played club cricket against him yeah. as a young guy. So... You know, Jaffa is a tremendous talent. We all know that. And like I said, you know, we, we're looking forward to, to the game on Friday. Well, Archer has already established himself as one of the sport's most explosive bowlers with three wicket hauls against South Africa and Bangladesh in the World Cup. Rifa says Archer has a bright future ahead of him. He always had the pace, you know, but he had a few injuries as a young guy. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing now he's fully over those injuries and he's bowling very well for, in, for England. Are you disappointed he's not wearing maroon? <laughs> but he made his choice. Well, switching sports now, Wilkie Cumberbatch, West Terrace and Eden Lodge made it through to the quarterfinals of the Baiko Primary School's football competition. In today's playoffs, West Terrace celebrated a 2-0 win over Roland Edwards. Meanwhile, Wilkie Cumberbatch came from behind to beat Milton Lynch three goals to two where Dario Marquez scored a hat-trick for Wilkie. It all happened at the Orange Hill playing field. Sean Green reports. We pick up the action with West Terrace in the blue, already leading 1-0 at this stage, and looking for another. First having to get past the defense, and that they do, feathering it through. And is this goal number two for West Terrace? Yes, it is. And that's all they needed to take the win. 2-0 over Roland Edwards. Game number two featured Milton Lynch in the green against Wilkie Cumberbatch. And the guys playing a bit of pinball dangerously in front of the bars before Milton Lynch found the angle in the tangle to leak onto the score sheets first with a 1-0 lead. They added another goal shortly after that for a comfortable 2-0 lead before this happened. Wilkie Cumberbatch from nowhere getting one inside the bars. One quickly became two after the Pine School copped another break. And here's the cross. The goalie flatlined and blasted home in an emphatic style. And things are all tied up now at two goals apiece. Goal kicked by the Milton Lynch keeper. Reaches all the way to the other end where it finds his opposite number. And he takes his time and gets into good position and fires it deep into the enemy camp and that proved effective after the keeper failed to negotiate the bounce and Wilkie Cumberbatch will take advantage once more to celebrate a come from behind victory winning three goals to two. Sean Green, CBC Sport. For well, 15 members of the Barbados Masters and Seniors Athletic Club departed for Albuquerque, New Mexico in the USA today to compete in that country's national senior games. The competition runs from June 14th to 25th and we'll see athletes compete in 20 different events at 16 different venues. Coach of BAMSAC, Dennis Thornhill, 
says the team is made up of 12 female and 3 male athletes. We have been, over the past year really, we have been um, working because uh, mostly sprinters and um, we, we, we have a very good um, organized program and that's why our athletes are able to be um, competitive at that um, international level. Our home ground really is um, the Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt complex and um, we, we do a lot of um, endurance work and a, a lot of um, um, sprint technique. And this is the key, for, the key to our success. Well, Beverly Walters will be competing in the 60 to 64 age category and says she's ready for the competition. I am participating in the 50 meter dash, the 100 meter dash, the 200 meter dash, and hopefully the relay. Well, you've got a busy schedule. How are you preparing yourself for these events? Well, I've been training really hard. From the time we came back from Clearwater, where I, I had to qualify in Clearwater to be able to participate in these events. And from that time until now, we've been training really hard at the Usain Bolt Complex on morning. Some of us train very early in the morning from um, 5 to about 6.30, quarter to 7. And those who can't make the morning training, make the evening training. We have to age actively, you know, and I believe in having um, a good life. And the good way you can have a good life is by exercising it gives you it helps you look good physically it keeps you strong mentally prepared for anything we do wish them all the very best well the golden state warriors kept their pursuit of a third straight nba title alive with a narrow 106 to 105 victory against the toronto raptors in game five last night the raptors still lead the series 3-2 well rashid hughes rode brigadier wood to victory in the st anne's garrison handicap for three olds at the Garrison Savannah over the weekend. The Sir David Seal own horse stopped the clock in 2 minutes 08.2 seconds, going 2,000 meters. The red flag is raised, and they're off in the afternoon's feature race. The St. Anne's Garrison handicap 2,000 meters ahead of them, and the rush note for the lead is Kangaroo Jack. So he speeds off clear by four from Burger Daywood, who's another four lengths clear of Donny Cody there, another two lengths clear of Hope for Serendipity. Then there's Can't Crush, this leisurely going along, and the back marker who will come running later is none other than Summer again. Yeah, so they head towards the departure point now, and Can't Crush this is just, uh, I'm sorry, that is Kangaroo, Kangaroo Jack, who leads now just by a length and a half from Burger Daywood. They're about eight clear now of hope for serendipity then donny code did it summer again has gone past can't crush this who's dropped away to accompany the ambulance as they head over the hill they've done six and one 13 and four and the favorite brigadier wood now opens up by two lengths from kangaroo jack who's hard ready hope for serendipity is third and brigadier wood has no more turns and no challengers he's in front of about seven hope for serendipity is coming into second place but brigadier wood has stolen the march close your butts class dismiss brigadier wood and a romp wins it now by about seven or eight lengths maybe more well shane there are no more turns <laughs> for sports that's I it i want to hear, hear harsh versus commentary then. <laughs> <laughs> i can't do it it's shaping up to be a wet week at the world cup and we now join lane and length with a special report from england Coming up on Line and Length at the World Cup, a week of rain ahead could spoil some competitive World Cup fixtures. What's in a salute? We get up close with Sheldon Cottrell, whose famous signature sign-off is taking England by storm. Line and Length at the World Cup, brought to you by Sajik or General, wise financial thinking for life. Park and Fly by Sewell Air Services, add a little luxury to your trip. And Project Recycle, reduce, reuse and and recycle. Insurance doesn't have to be complicated. Learn more at Sajikor.com. People, move your waist. It takes a lot to walk to make this a cleaner place. Bottles, cans, cardboard in one bag together. With kitchen scraps and peelings all going in another. We reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh. Get your waste pick up. We reduce, reuse, recycle. Look for the big, big truck. It's good for you. It's good for me. Good for all of me. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Barbados. For all the healthy country. 
country. Bang, bang. The week ahead at the Cricket World Cup promises to be bleak. The rain yesterday in Southampton is likely to last for the next five days, which could mean the West Indies fixture coming on Friday against England could be hampered like South Africa's clash yesterday. And scenes like these where Chris Gale took the opportunity to take some selfies with fans might very well be repeated. Head coach Floyd Reefer told Lionel Length that the team remains in high spirits. Um, our brand of cricket is, is strong, um, so the guys are up for it and looking forward to the game. When you look at today's clash, people are still concerned about the injury to Andrew Russell and his knee. Can you shed some light on that and tell us what's the move for him going forward on Friday? Will he be available for that clash and how come he didn't play today? Uh, in terms of Andrew, it'd be not, we all know he, he has some knee, knee issues. You know, a daily today, when you look at the weather forecast, 90% rain in the suit today, so it makes sense, you know, trying to force him to play a game today. And, you know, we have another game on Friday. It's all about, you know, preserving him and, and managing his situation. In between some downtime, Sheldon Cottrell has become a star with his famous salute. It has become so popular, he has been to schools and academies where children have been asking him to teach them how to do the very famous sign-off when he takes a wicket. But how did this salute start? As most people know, I'm a, I'm a soldier, first and foremost, for, for Jamaica Defense Force. I'm in the first battalion. Um, so it's my, my salute is just to show my appreciation to all my co-workers who's all there working hard. As a matter of fact, all, all the soldiers across, across the, 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 the world um, who's out there doing it for the nation. So me saluting is just to show my appreciation. And what's the finish of the salute? You do this kind of like... Uh... Yeah, um, actually, that was, I did that by me mistake at once and I saw that it, it worked. It, it, it was just emotion running through me at the time when I did it and I saw that I, I like this. So I just continued. He also talked me through that catch he took last week against Australia that went viral. After missing a half chance against um, Steve Smith, like I wanted the ball to come to, to come to me. When I saw it, I was like, "Yeah, here is my chance. I gotta get it, get it, get it, get it." When I put up my hand at, at the right time, the ball just stuck. I'm like, "Oh yeah!" I was so excited to see the ball stuck in my hands. So my, but but at the time, I went, my momentum was taking me over the boundary. So I had to flip it, flip it up, look at it, and just catch it back. I was so elated. And and surprise actually. It was unfortunate that against South Africa there were few moments to repeat such. But once the rain stays away, then the England fixture on Friday is the West Indies next winning target. For Lionel Lent at the World Cup, I'm Barry Wilkinson. Insurance doesn't have to be complicated. Learn more at Sajakor.com. People, move your waist. It takes a lot to walk the madness, a cleaner place. Bottles, cans, cardboard, in one bag together. With kitchen scraps and peelings all going in another. We reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh. Get your waist back up. We reduce, reuse, recycle. Look for the big picture. It's good for you. It's good for me. 